Hey everyone, and this time I have some tips for you when it comes to iOS 14 widgets. And hopefully it's something you didn't really realize until now, so let's begin. First of all, you probably know that there is this smart stack widget, which means that you can scroll through different widgets and it can even give you some suggestions or mix it up automatically. But usually you just click on add widget and you already add the created stack of widgets. But in order to create your own one, you have to start with any widget and place it on your home screen. Then add another widget and just drop it on top of it. And you can create a stack of just two widgets or even add another one on top of those two. And you can just create and modify your own stack of widgets and you can even add third party ones. So it's not just limited to these stock ones from Apple. The order is set based on the order of the creating of the actual widget, based on the order of the widgets that you drop on top of each other. But if you hold down to the widget, you can see you can edit it. And there you can actually edit even the order of those widgets as well. There is also one option which says the smart stack, which turns it into something that Siri suggests you. I mean, if you're on the home screen, it's not going to be always on the widget that you let it on, but depends on a Siri and what Siri actually wants to suggest to you based on your behavior and patterns that it actually noticed in the past. By the way, guys, if you are new on this channel, one thing that you can do in order to support it and in order for you not to miss anything important in the future is to subscribe and I would really appreciate it. Thank you for your support and let's continue with this video. Another very useful widget is the Siri app suggestions. And I know that we are familiar with this because if you swipe down on the home screen, you get to the spotlight search and there we already have the Siri suggested apps. But what's great about this widget is that it doesn't even look like a widget. It looks like a group of eight apps on the home screen. And for people that don't know that it's a widget and that those apps change automatically based on your behavior, then those people wouldn't even notice that it's a widget. But the tip that I want to give you is that you should only allow the apps to be Siri suggested by the widget, only those that are not on the home screen. And let me explain. If you go to the settings, you are actually able to modify and set individual apps to be able to be showed up or suggested by this widget. So you can disable it or enable it based on your preferences. And if you only have a couple of apps on the home screen and the rest of them is in the app library, then I would only recommend you using the apps from app library as the Siri suggestions. So only those apps which are not immediately visible on the home screen should be suggested by this widget because the other ones are there anyway. So what's the point of duplicating the apps? Another tip for you that I have is to simply uh, always hold down to a widget when you're adding it to your home screen. Let me explain again. If you just hold down to the home screen and you just get to this create or edit mode, you can easily add widgets by clicking on the plus icon on the top. And there you of course have all of those widgets. You can just pick from all of those sizes. But if you just tap on it, it automatically chooses a position for that widget, which isn't something that I would really like to do. So always just hold down to it and it will get you to the home screen and you can try out the different places for that widget, which I think is a lot more useful because it just does not mess up all of your icons and your home screen setup. And you can actually decide if you want to put it there or not. Another tip is to not forget about the side widgets. I mean, the, the page, if you scroll all the way to the left, it has always been there, even in the previous version of iOS, but people tend to forget about it now that you can put widgets even between the icons. I mean, you can still finesse the widget side and the widget page and just edit there, whatever you want. I mean, it's just an app. I mean, it's just a page full of widgets. So just add whatever you want to, to that and just edit it the same way you would edit a home screen. 
I know you've probably seen it somewhere, but the Google widget is actually one of the most useful ones that is available on the iOS right now. I mean, yes, it's been available on Androids before, and I'm not here to trying to argue about it, but yeah, it's very useful. You can just tap on to search right away to Google. You can click on Google Lens and you can just take a picture of whatever and search it. And there you also have the incognito mode and stuff like that. I just think that this is a very useful widget and you should definitely have that. Besides that, there are some pretty basic tips like to hide individual pages on your home screen. I mean, it's nothing really that you probably wouldn't know about anyway. So also when it comes to third party widgets, again, you can just search the app store for the photo widgets term and you'll get a number of apps which pretty much do the same thing. And there is no reason to for me to recommend any of them. Just try out whatever you want. But those apps allow you to add photos as widgets on the home screen. So it's very useful. And of course, multiple sizes, just pick a photo from the gallery and it will constantly be shown on the home screen. It's just very simple and something that we did not have before so a lot of people are going to be really jumping into this because yeah it's useful but it's not something groundbreaking as we know so these were all of the tips that i have for you in this video i really do hope that you enjoyed it and for more content like this in the future make sure to subscribe make sure to support this video with your thumbs up i would really appreciate it like i said and again thanks a lot for your support and see you guys later in the next videos peace out guys